I'm Caro from the Netherlands and I'm gonna play Super Mario Kart for you guys. I've been playing it since 2003 competitively and since 2007 I've been participating in the annual world championship held in France. And this is where I picked up most of my strategies and tricks and um, I hope I'll be able to uh, show you a great run. And you'll probably see how bad of a troll this game can be <laughs> with the CPU drivers that can uh, decide to randomly fuck you over. So. Most definitely. But, um, <laughs> and commentating next to Carol is Patrick Russell, yep. also known as Meridian. Um, I watched Carol play this game in practice mode so many times. And we're gonna see how much uh, RNG is in his favor this time. <laughs> and we just, uh, just I brought two friends here, Yoshi and Peach. Which are probably two of the worst computer characters. Exactly, so every there. time one of these trolls, they're gonna <laughs> cheer. <laughs> oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> and um, just some uh, starting up information. Um, I'm gonna play two player mode Grand Prix because um, the second controller allows you to skip the victory scene on every track by giving up. So it saves like five seconds a track. So all we said was in vain? Or? So none of what I said was registered or? Uh, it was, but uh, I fixed that. Ah, okay. The RNG already started. <laughs> <laughs> static on the microphones here. What else is that to tell? Don't fight. Be friends. <laughs> I'm waiting for the green light here. Just uh, one other thing is that uh, the zoom starts uh, in Grand Prix are three frames, so I might miss a few. So it's possible to get all 20, so a zoom shot on every track, just not likely. Just waiting on the times to, uh, to start the race. 5k viewers. <laughs> cool. And every burn on your shoulder. Oh. Yeah! Oh. <laughs> and also before we start, we have another $5 donation by Michael Wurzak saying, wow, who is this incredibly handsome young man in the black shirt? Has to be Enop. Looking forward to a great marathon. Regards, about you and me. So great. <laughs> I'm not wearing and a black shirt. Also, before we start, yeah, that, that is an old donation. We apologize for being old, but that doesn't matter anyway. Um, also, before we start, we drew the prize for the DuckTales Pearlers, and that goes to Matt Johnson. Congratulations to you. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> hmm? No. Nah, no. <laughs> Usually more steady than this. <laughs> you can <No>. drink. <laughs> Don't drive and drink. <laughs> Smoke and fly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Who was the inventor of that comment? It's on the shirt that we gave Marius. Exactly. Because he uh, never. Yeah. He's basically a weirdo folk. <laughs> So I think there are some technical issues before we can start. Something with static at the mics or something. Hello? Hello? This is a test. <laughs> One, two, three. Yeah? Okay. Three, two, on. Go. And off we go. Carol's playing Bowser, and mm. second player being statically... So we've had mammals and birds, now we have lizards. Exactly, and turtles. 
with spiky shells. And some other random characters from the Mario world with a very grumpy attitude sometimes. Bye, Toad. I'll be trying to collect 10 coins on every track as fast as I can, because 10 is the speed limit in SMK. And we see Carol skipping sands a lot of times. It's because he's using a different uh, technique. Uh, it's basically a modified uh, thing for the controller, where you can actually press left and right at the same time if you wiggle it. And wiggle, it wiggle, wiggle. It actually builds up your... Um, slide meter of some some sort and if it reaches a certain point and it gives you a boost up on release and it just doesn't change the speed across uh, certain platforms yeah like so boosting uh, actually prioritizes over off-road uh, hits so it's exactly so it doesn't slow down and there we go <laughs> first one start missed just get rid of the green. It's already started. Yeah. Well, it's three frames to work with, so it's not just not consistent. <laughs> and here we got Donkey Kong. And, and there's Princess, but no stop, at least. Maybe now with this mini shroom. She tried. A shroom. Well, I'll sacrifice it because I lost the boost. Every character, upon being passed or just riding straight behind, will release an item uh, based on the character itself. In this case, it was Donkey and Peach trying to block him. Uh, Donkey releases a banana and Peach throws or drops a mushroom. Which is far worse because then you get small and can't drive for like half a minute. And if you are small and an enemy opponent decides to cross your path, you oh. get flattened. It's definitely not what I'm looking for. I lost like 10 seconds because I missed a zoom start and some other crap happened, so... But whatever. This next track is a run killer, Ghost Valley 1. Because exactly. it has the platform jump, which is really tricky. But I'm gonna attempt it 5-5, five five, cause YOLO. <laughs> coins that when you reach 10 coins you have extra speed. No, oh, there you go. Shit. And that's the first. Mm. It's not that hard to do the jump, but you need to jump <laughs> to actually make it. <laughs> now I can do it easy version of the jump, because I have a feather. So far, so bad, but it's it's possible to get it 5-5 five, five pretty consistently, just... That's true, as well. So, let's see if I can at least make it once. Yeah, that's how, that's how it should be done. But Yuki Carol makes it at least four out of five times. I'm not sure what happens. I don't know, nerves maybe, I don't know. A little uh, input delay on the... Maybe. On the ship On this track, uh, it would be cool if I can get a feather, so then you can skip a portion of the track. Yeah. 
Toad is there just for shows. It's always the fun part to uh, actually lap the computer. Gives him a chance to uh, give you a troll. In this case, it went pretty well, clean. They're quiet. They want to play nice for once. Just a silence before the storm, I guess. <laughs> we'll see. You got plenty more chances. Who knows? Oh, that was clean. And Toad getting the green shell. <laughs> it's a hobby of mine to just hit Toad as much as I can. But <laughs> <laughs> Give him, a, give him a little target practice. Sometimes it backfires and the green shell hits yourself, so... Yeah. What's the ratio of it? Hitting him and getting it? One in three. <laughs> 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 nah, th that's exaggerated. But it's risky. We just avoid playing with fire. And think with Donkey being on yep. third place, giving him a little boost in the back. After not getting the zoom start. We were planning to actually have a race on this slot with uh, Pierre Lewest, the French uh, champion, but unfortunately he couldn't make it. But then it would have been uh, a bit more hype, because obviously two... That was close. That was close, yeah. It looks easy what Carol does, but it's not. Peach is gonna hit. No, I'm not gonna hit anyone. Not a good sign. So first cop is over and I can Rex a bit. That's one out of four. Pretty medium time? Nah, it's horrible because <laughs> I uh, go Sully 1, I lost like 20 seconds, if not more. With the platform jumps missed. What's this your what's your favorite uh, cup? It's tricky. I'm gonna go with flower probably. But we'll see. I might regret that uh, statement. <laughs> because of the neat shortcuts and jumps? It's just not too hard. It's like special couple star cup are unforgivingly hard. And it's a bit smoother and there are some nice tricks to do, yeah. So So it would actually be faster to reset uh, during the victory scene, but um, yeah, we don't. It's a no reset run basically. On Shoko Island One, you can use the bumps to elevate you over the rainbow walls and take a little shortcut, which I'm gonna demonstrate you right here. I can do that every lap. And it would be very nice if he gets a mushroom or a feather with some very nice tricks. This is quite consistent, but on some laps where the computer is actually... Yeah, if the CPU is in that uh, section, it can get really ugly. Yeah. But should, usually it's then just wiser not to go for it, we'll see. Uh, right about now, but... Nice skip. Yeah. Let's see if I can get a feather. No, nope, nope. just bananas. And I missed it. It's tricky, but that was... Uh, four seconds lost or something with the missed shortcut. Is 
Exactly, not the ghost valley, but no weird platform jumps in this Oh, one. you can do the platform jump if you want, but... It's, it's, uh, it's even riskier than a ghost valley one, so... And it doesn't really skip that much. And it's wins less, it's exactly right, so it's just not worth it. And with the CPU being tired of Toad, and he's being knocked into the wall. Nice view, Toad. You love it. Oh, I managed to drop the banana in the worst possible spot. That's a uh, way of self troll So I might just save it, I don't know. Oh, oh it's, it's gone. gone. Thank you, Donkey Kong. Uh, that's what happens if there are too many items in the game to keep track of for the CPU. It just removes one item when a new one is made. Yo, it's thrown at exactly the same spot. <laughs> <laughs> well. Good job, Peach. Didn't hit him, but... Peach and Toad are actually quiet this time. Yeah, I'm just screwing up myself, so... They were like... They don't need to jump in yet. <laughs> you do the job for them. Easy. Standard routines. Here are some golfers that want to attach it to you. It's Might take some white corners in the Chicago, but the Grand Prix, the cornering circles are kind of like big trucks. And then I'm not even playing. I'm not even playing NTSC, but which is just a lot worse even. NTSC being slightly faster. NTSC is actually it's a fun fact completely differently programmed. The driving mechanics are just different. Somehow. So it's not just a speed difference, it's an actual coding difference. So now I'm getting into CPU traffic. Let's see if I can get there without being hit. Probably not. Oh, 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 close. Well, they did their oh. best. <laughs> Nicely done. <laughs> That last corning was too close for comfort. Yeah, I need a bit of luck there with the CPU. I got it this time. You saw Donkey Kong really trying for it. And Princess and Koopa, they all <laughs> went for it, but not this time. Carol actually gaining a lot of skills in uh, anticipating the the way the computer reacts to you. To you. And uh, so far it's been paid off. the viewers or the people in the chat have any questions, uh, feel free to ask. Because I'm sure by seeing Carol play, um, many questions might come, uh, might come in handy to clarify things. Things. Yeah, because otherwise you get launched in the lava. Exactly. Bowser and Donkey having quite uh, high speed at, at 150cc. Um, an automated jump from those uh, jumpers will actually jump you so far into the lava across the other platform. Hi. And also, <laughs> jump. uh, jumping manually doesn't uh, make you lose speed. But they're tricky. If you do it too soon, and you're actually getting jumped anyway, and you was too late. And at the right time, you actually do a super jump, I guess. That's average. So and so. Crash. One crash. And we're entering the final track of this cup. Mario Circuit 3 with the incredibly hard hairpin. 
And also the point where usually Luigi is uh, battling you for the tight corners. They all do. <laughs> And a shroom is always welcome in case I uh, crash, then I can just speed up right again, right away again. So that's cool. Here you see Carol actually using the new boosting technique, also known as NBT. Uh, if you do this right before the zipper, and you hit the zipper while in NBT status, then you can actually perform an infinite boost. This can roll on for the entire track if the corners weren't too tight. Exactly. But I have to cut it short, otherwise you just crash anyway. And in the World Championship with Mario Kart, uh, people actually change character to Luigi in multiplayer mode. Because Luigi and Mario are characters that are pretty fast and just not fast enough to crash into walls. And people can actually just infinitely um, being in NBT status until they crash a wall, of course. Clean run. Yep, clean. Nicely done. Sub-120 is good. So, Flower Cup was a little better than Mushroom Cup. <laughs> Overall, yes. Now entering the third and maybe, maybe the, the hardest, hardest. Cup, yeah. Exactly. There are a lot of trick jumps, uh, hard courses, tight turns. And Vanilla Lake One is just packed with stuff. It's just exactly. So many ice cubes and water and snow and it's and just a complete improv every time. So halfway in, two cups to go, the two hardest cups. And if people wondering why uh, Carol is playing Toad as second character, is uh, basically uh, depending on the characters you choose, determines the setup of the CPUs. Oh. And Toad and Peach being the two with mushrooms are probably one of the worst items in the game. So, choosing one as player two will eliminate one of those factors. Also, driving Bowser instead of Donkey will eliminate Bowser's fireball item, which is... The worst item of the CPU in the game. Yeah. <laughs> Not so much of the item itself, but it wiggles and its hitbox is unforgivingly big. Yeah, defo. So, playing Bowser and Toad is, I think, optimal. And maybe I should ask Carol, why not uh, using Peach as second character? Uh, well... Doesn't really matter, but... I like, in this setup, Donkey Kong is the third driver, and in case you miss the zoom start, he can give you a full... Uh, push back the speed. So that's... So I guess... Comes in handy sometimes. So... So just anticipating my... Failure to hit zoom start. Exactly. <laughs> so if you pick Peach, you might not have Donkey Kong as third player. Yeah, exactly. No, I don't have Donkey Kong as third player. And Donkey Kong has more body mass in the game, so he can just give you a really violent push, which is what you want. It's the only time in the game that you want that. You miss the zoom start. And this is a nice. long boost trick, which is pretty cool. We will skip an entire level. And the feather. The That's feather cool. is one of the most useful items in on this course. Because yeah, you can tracks. skip a lap, exactly. basically, which you'll see now. You just pass the finish line. This should be a really good time, actually, because I had a feather and a mushroom. So. That's Very nice. <laughs> That's pretty cool. 
What's the world record on this? 43 or something with two feathers. All right. And a mushroom. <laughs> and a mushroom, of course. Yeah. But getting a feather and a mushroom in, in the run is uh, actually kind of lucky. Even. Yeah. So it's cool that I have that in a marathon. Yeah, Carol playing uh, Rainbow Road early on today and actually managed to get a new world record. That's true. Better in this course is not so useful. Uh, can be. Come again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll take that back. But not in the way of skipping things. That's true. Thank you, Koopa, for always being there. You're my friend, Bowser. But this is like one of the hardest tracks, definitely. And sub 50 is, that's really what I'm hoping for. Oh, nice. Considering the possible damage it could have done. Usually I'm a lot slower here. It's, well, it's just hard to avoid a crash. Now comes Bowser Castle 3. Carol's favorite. <laughs> <laughs> also known as a hell house. about to say starting now. The, oh, uh, I yeah. start. <laughs> ah, <laughs> hit the thanks, computer. thanks, because I meant to throw that. Oh, hit a bump, so now I can do this jump. You see, he instantly loses his top speed. Okay, the platforms are quite big. <laughs> Take that. Oh, oh, nice. Oh, Mario. Oh, wow. They really wanted you. Oh, oh, Jesus. And I was getting shoulder bashed by Donkey Kong. How the hell did I survive all that? <laughs> oh, and Donkey actually hit his uh, own, own banana, banana. Yeah, served him right. <laughs> Next Donkey Kong Jr. But. Any donkey is a uh, pain in the ass, I guess. Very nice. Mm. Nice clean run. <laughs> clean? <laughs> well, I didn't stop. That's what I meant. It was a small miracle, actually, from all the stuff going on. So far, so good, apart from Mushroom Cup. Thanks for hitting it again. No computer getting hit. Yeah, here we go. Indeed. Just go extra wide, just so I have a little <laughs> margin to dodge them. Oh. <laughs> Saving it. Wow. What the hell was that? <laughs> that was quite a good save. That was an insane save. <laughs> No, 
that was a really good star cup actually. <laughs> I might say that. What the hell about that save? <laughs> Usually you would have just I would have hit the green you. I would have hit the green shell normally. Yeah. As a follow-up. Yeah, there was a green shell, there was a CPU. Yoshi did nothing, Peach did nothing. Mario did. <laughs> yeah, he tried. He could have he could have hit the star. True, <laughs> true, true. Made, made of your spin. True, true. Because Mario and Luigi have invincibility uh, as their weapon uh, when they are CPU. And they can switch it on that wheel. Also, the CPU always have a feather, so they can always jump over items. Yeah, on the fly. Whenever they want to. But there is a catch to that deal. They arrive they drive really slowly. <laughs> and it's also mainly because uh, we use two players. Uh, all the CPU uses a quite of an average speed. So this is probably the first time you play the game. This track is, you think, what the heck? It's completely unplayable with uh, even a gap in the bridge. And the mall's over here. It's just in slippery sand. This track is, in my opinion, the hardest. Yeah, it could be. Well, playing like Carol does actually make it fun. And easy. But it isn't. Ah, oh shit, infinite it's circling. That means I might hit it. That means I might hit it the next level. Oh, it's, it's gone. gone. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you, Koopa. I guess. I don't know. No, someone hit it, it. Maybe. Oh, well. Saved by the NBT. Yeah. Come on, guys. Come on, Yoshi. You can do it. Ah, yeah, he did it. Yoshi. Yoshi. <laughs> Finally, he gets his chance in the spotlights. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See the hate in your eyes. Girl. Yeah, no, it's love. It's love. <laughs> right. <laughs> One nil for Yoshi. Come on, Pete, you can do it. There's some more shro shrooms on his head. He's awesome in Mario World 2, but he's just a troll in SMK. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Probably two worst drivers in this game is uh, the best drivers in Mario Kart 64, alongside with Toad. Yeah. Oh, and we got another trick. Ah, uh, sometimes the red shell doesn't hit Toad. Oof. Shit! Um, Too much improv. And it just wiggles around his cart and just randomly decides either to hit him or hit Bowser in some courses. Which has happened on Bowser. Those getting too. raped in the meantime. Yeah. Poor shot. <laughs> Quite clean. <laughs> <laughs> Submarine yeah. finish. Special <laughs> flying Bowser. <laughs> Extra effective when used with a mushroom, right? <laughs> it should be. <laughs> a little inside joke here with Carol. Using another uh, boost trick, and if you jump against the wall and release gas, and actually it keeps you also in a certain weird status of sliding and hitting the zipper gives you more boost and longer than it normally would. And as a fun fact for the NTSC, it actually is so strong that it can actually last almost the entire lap. CPU on this track is 
extra bad. Uh, a ring road is extra bad. This is kind yeah. of kind Quite of okay. Did not appreciate that egg though. <laughs> And, 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 and... Ah, oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> now comes the most fun track of the game, but it could also go epically wrong. <laughs> exactly. This is Ice Dancing. It's my favorite track. I would like to play this. I feel quite uncomfortable. If you, uh, <laughs> if you lose speed once, you're uh, in trouble, uh, basically. But we'll see. Good. And there oh, we go. Oh, oh. That's not what I want though. I want full speed. <laughs> we want show. Come on, Carol. That's what I meant. I feel quite uncomfortable how he drives. Mushroom keeping for the fail safe. <laughs> Aye. Oh. I have a shroom now, it's okay. I went overboard with the risk, I guess. Oh. Little, uh, holy shit. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> hit and miss, hit and miss. It's possible to get sub 50, but. <laughs> it's not that bad. Maybe skip heartbeats here. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> I was kind of lucky having the shroom. Yeah. Otherwise, I would have lost like four more seconds. With Could the crash. horrendously more wrong. Yeah, defo. And the final track. Of this so race. Uh, at the end of lap five, the timer uh, should uh, be stopped. We will. Um, well, oh. not quite there yet, Mr. Zoom. Donkey says nope for your extra boost. I think the shroom is a nice item on this track. He's saving it for lap two. Ooh. almost. I'm gonna do a really hard trick now. Again, YOLO, but. Oh, nice! <laughs> Actually, he shrooms, jumps over the On gap, that jump bar there. Hit the jump bar while Sideways. Sliding, landing exactly on that other platform across the ridge. That's where the YOLO jumps is uh, coming from. Oh. Computer being uh, quite okay-ish. Yeah, the computer pattern is good this time. Yeah. Better? Ah, oh, didn't pick letters. up the item. <laughs> and no, no. Wait for it. And time. time. Yeah. Thirty-four How much? twelve. Really? It's very, very nice considering his mushroom cup. That's pretty strong, yeah. My average is probably 34.30 or something, and my PR is 33.30. And the world record? 33.20 by Florent Leco on it, who's the Grand Prix world champion, who is uh, far better still. <laughs> and also a uh, CDM uh, champion for like five years in a row. Sami won last year. Exactly. We lost it. So shout outs to all Mario Kart players watching this and everyone else, of course. Exactly. And uh, thanks for having me. Good job, Carol. And uh, nice. <laughs> thanks for staying uh, <laughs> out of <trouble>. friendly. Friendly. <laughs> well, Yoshi won. Yeah. So. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that was pretty epic. Yeah, that was a close call. they uh, too close for comfort. But it's it's always. It's <laughs> <laughs> That's the Yolo jump. So. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Carol. Thanks. And